Okay, so for concealer, I am using ColourPop's No Filter Concealer in the colour 30. So this video isn't a first impression because I've pretty much used every single product in this video. And Lee Concealer is one of the best. I've tried the Shape Tape, I've tried Maybelline's Age Rewind, I've got MUAs. I mean, you've seen my one by videos. I've tried so many concealers and this tops it, hands down. Imagine how many you could buy for one Shape Tape. You could probably buy like, what, five? Next for foundation, as we all know, they don't do foundation. So what I'm doing instead is I'm taking their No Feel Concealer in the shade 35 this time, so one shade down and I'm gonna, I've never done this before so <laughs> I hope this, well, considering their concealer is so like full coverage this should work, I hope they also don't have a mascara so I don't know what I'm gonna do when the time comes like, should I just use another one, do I do I apply like fake lashes Oh my god, that's actually such a nice coverage. If you're not someone that likes foundation, this, this method might be good for you. Oh my god, that looks so nice. And this is the final look. Oh my god, I just applied it. Look at that full coverage. This gives me, this concealer gives better coverage than most foundations. And you get quite a lot of product, so I'm not sure how, if you did try and use this foundation, how long it lasts. Look how flawless I look. As you guys know, I like being matte. But apparently, today's not that day because Colourpop doesn't have a powder. So I'm moving on to brows. I'm using their brow pencil. This is the tiniest brow pencil I've ever owned. Like the nib is just like, you can't even, well it's not even, I haven't taken it out that much because you can't, it's not retractable, once you pull it up, you can't push it back down. Okay, so my brows are done. So let's move on to eyes. So I've never done this before, but today I want to follow a face chart. Well, I'll link the face chart down below and I'll also link the picture of this look with it. It's basically a purple look, purple eyes, purple highlight, purple lips. So let's go on to the eyeshadow. I've no room to put these, I put these in like a colour pop box. Everything is just overexposed. I have a lot of eyeshadow. Two of these because I got them free when that deal was by like, what was it, like by three or four or whatever. This one's empty. If anyone could let me know how you actually depot these, because I know you can take the four bit out and have like ten in it. These are my blues because I've got no room in my palette. This is Muscle Beach, Lost and Found. I think this is two piece. Here are the bad boys. So I've got I put one in matte in colour order. Okay, this is the matte one. It goes from lightest to darkest. So starting from yellow, going from black. I don't have any whites. I certainly don't have any nudes. Okay, here's a whitey colour. This is my shimmy breeze. Oh look at that. And the darkest is, is that grey? I think that's grey. Yeah, good in two shoes. So that's grey. So I think I'm going to take the lightest one, which is the yellow, just for like a base. Take my handy dandy broken. I love this, but I have more. So I should, actually, I have Colourpop eyeshadows. 
but the girl's too lazy to get up, so we're stuck with this broken one. I need a mirror. This yellow isn't that good if you want to create a look because it basically blends into nothing. You can barely even see it. So if you want a bright in your face yellow, I would say Tiki's not the one to choose. Now that's done. Because the black is mainly, it's basically all over the lid and it's only like in the highlight area of the eye, the tear duct is where the purple is. So I'm going to take the dark colour but but to light this up a bit, instead of using their black colour, I'm going to use their dark plum purple in the colour Roundhouse. So it looks like this. In the pan, this looks very similar to Max Indian Ink. Whether it's a dupe for it, I don't know. But yeah, let's apply that. I'm using Primark's just blending brush. Less pigmented. So pigmented that it's decided to go my face. Okay, so next I'm taking one four three in the inner corner of my eye. Okay guys, so next I'm going to smoke it under my eye and then take a light purple eyeliner and put it on my waterline. Okay, so next I'm moving on to cheeks. I've got their famous liquid highlighter. And then their bronze and highlighter. That was the liquid highlighter in Amethyst. Next, I'm taking the Ready Go Dry. Okay, next we're moving on to lips. I think I'm just going to leave the eye in terms of lashes or mascara because it's so busy you can't even see if I would have it on anyway. Next we're taking matte liquid lip in So Wavy. Is this matte? No, this is actually satin. Okay guys, so that's the final look. If I'm being honest, I'm not happy with how it's looked. Everything should just be more purple in the picture. So off camera, because I am doing this for Instagram, off camera I'm going to go in with my MAC products. I think I'm going to add some like Lavender Snow Jeffree Star highlighter, some Stars of Rocket eyeshadow just to give you that purple could look okay let's go in with this setting spray this is one of the worst sprays in the world it doesn't spray it just it just it like it falls down it's not a good setting spray it's in that avitrine crystal setting spray shake me gently hold at arm length don't spray directly into your eyes or mouth this yeah this isn't very good I'm gonna shake it 
can't see the little spray thing. Yeah, not a fan. It hardly anything comes out. It just I don't know how to describe it. A little bit just squirts out. You can't see it, but it's not good. Wouldn't recommend. But yeah, now finally at the end of the video. I'm so happy with how it looked for a one brand colour pop, a fix or point highlight, bronzer, lips, eyeshadow, brows. The base is perfect. And yeah, that brings me into the end of the video. I love everything about colour pop. Okay, so that wraps things up. I hope you guys liked it. Comment down your thoughts and opinions down below. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, you know, deep beat, run around mine.